I really like the combination of genres and and with this, you know, I was thinking about tr- more traditional fantasy and and it just really started off in thinking like there's really no reason why it always has to be medieval. You know, like we see Lord of the Rings, we see Game of Thrones and it's always in this sort of pseudo medieval time. It's not Earth, but it's um but it's its own country and it's always in this medieval place and I thought what would happen if you took that world and you just fast forwarded it past its own industrial revolution. You know, and now all these sort of quaintly segregated races are living in cities right next to each other. And and I thought you could then maybe tell different, newer, more modern feeling stories with these old sort of conventions and, and, and maybe tell a story that resonated in a newer and more modern way. I'm, I'm really interested for them to see um, the scope of it, really, because I, I think... It's there's so many characters and there's so many corners around which you can look and the world has weight and it has substance and I really I can't wait for people to see how deep it goes because it really it feels it feels like you could step in and look around the corner and there would be something there. I think there's a couple of things. Number one, the fact that it's original. Um, it's not based on any pre-existing IP. It's not based on a novel. It's not based on a graphic novel. Um, it's its own unique thing and and in my opinion we don't have enough of those pieces of content out there. Um, The other thing that's unique and original is the fact that while we've certainly seen fantasy settings, usually those fantasy settings are medieval in nature. It's it's swords and sandals and and, and armor. Uh, This is actually the first fantasy you know, piece that I've seen where it takes place hundreds of years after that period, where it's it's just past the Industrial Revolution and you're living in the Industrial Age and combining, you know, the mythology and the mysticism of a fantasy show with that kind of period is really, it's interesting and I it's wholly unique, I think, and makes the show, you know, special and different. 